So the wider message is we're contributing to condemning racist symbols and we're also learning about that work and ensuring that our youth is a part of changing that. But what I want to assure people is this in no way cancels or erases history. We understand that this is something that will always be known and understood, but it does shift from, again, upholding them and, and honoring them. And these opportunities is a great way to have that conversation about our past and, and have an opportunity to uplift new, new voices. I think more people should be in the room to have that discussion. I think, uh, you know, instead of just a small group of people deciding for the rest of the school district, community members, parents, and people from schools, even students should be in that room discussing whether they should get their name changed for that school. I think there's a danger in applying 21st century moral standards to uh, historical figures of one or two centuries ago. Uh, we expect everyone to be perfect. We expect everyone to be enlightened, but uh, an enlightened person of 1865 is not the same as an enlightened person of 2020.